Jormungandr god of war Ragnarok characters, Norse mythology. Jormungandr, also known as the World Serpent, is a mythical Jotun serpent destined to fight Thor, come Ragnarok. He becomes an ally of Kratos and Atreus after the pair awaken him from deep slumber within the Lake of Nine. Norse Mythology In Norse mythology, Jormungandr, Old Norse, Jormungandr, meaning huge monster, also known as the world serpent, Old Norse, Mikursormur, is a sea serpent, the middle child of the giantess Angraboa and Loki. According to the prose Edda, Odin took Loki's three children by Angraboa, the wolf Fenrir, Hel, and Jormungandr, and tossed Jormungandr into the great ocean that encircles Midgard. The serpent grew so large that it was able to surround the earth and grasp its own tail. As a result, it received the name of the Midgard Serpent or World Serpent. When it releases its tail, Ragnarok will begin. Jormungandr's archenemy is the Thunder God, Thor, with the two being prophesied to kill each other come Ragnarok. Jormungandr will be slain by Thor, who will then take nine steps away before succumbing to the serpent's eider poison that it had been spewing in the air during the battle. God of War Universe God of War, 2018 According to Freya, the serpent mysteriously appeared one day in the Lake of Nine. At one point, he had fought against Thor in a battle that was felt across all the Nine Realms, ending in a stalemate. He has remained in the lake ever since, growing so large, he's able to encircle all of Midgard. When the Jotnar were hunted down by Thor and the other Asir, the remaining Jotnar fled to their homeland, making Jormungandr and the Guardian the last giants in Midgard. He passes the time by sleeping and protecting Tyr's temple. A nearby horn can be used to summon him. According to Mimir, the prophecy of Ragnarok foretells that the serpent and Thor will fight again. In the fight, Thor will hit Jormungandr so hard that it splinters Yggdrasil and sends him back in time to a period well before his birth, explaining his sudden appearance at the lake. Jormungandr first encounters Kratos and Atreus in the Lake of Nine, rising out of it and causing the water level to drop. He speaks to the pair briefly, though they cannot understand him, before returning to his slumber. After Kratos and Atreus acquire the head of Mimir, the only person alive that knows his language, they summon the serpent to learn how to get to Jotunheim. The first thing Jormungandr sees upon waking up happens to be a large statue of Thor, whom he despises with a passion. He destroys the statue, tearing off the upper half and swallowing it. He then spots Kratos and Atreus on the realm travel bridge, recognizing Mimir when he introduces himself. He becomes visibly angry when Mimir mistakenly identifies the two as friends of Odin but calms down when Mimir hurriedly corrects himself. After learning of their intentions, he agrees to help them reach Jotunheim and realigns the bridge to make sure they're heading in the right direction. When Kratos brings a sick Atreus to Freya's house with Mimir, they hear the horn on the bridge sounding in the distance, noting that someone has called the serpent. What transpired is unknown. Kratos, Atreus, and Mimir later realize that the statue of Thor may have contained Mimir's second eye, which they need to reach Jotunheim. When Mimir asks him about the statue, Jormungandr responds that he thinks it may still be in his stomach, and reluctantly allows them to enter his mouth to look for it. While they search within his belly, he comes under attack from Baldur, expelling the three next to the corpse of the frost giant Thamer. Later, when under attack by Thamer's reanimated core to his enormous size. God of War, Ragnarok When Atreus sneaks out of Sindri's house to secretly go and talk with Freya in Midgard, Sindri suggested that he should go and talk with Jormungandr as an alternative in order to get answers about Loki and Ragnarok. Upon reaching Midgard, Atreus proceeded to call the world serpent in the dead tongue, which caused the beast to emerge from within the earth. When Atreus tells him that he is seeking for answers about Loki, Jormungandr gave him only one answer before going back to his slumber, Ironwood. When Atreus asked Sindri on what it means, the dwarf reveals its meaning, they should have stayed at home. 
Jormungandr is later seen fighting off Thor with Ragnarok and Asgard only to be struck by the God of Thunder in the end and disappearing soon after, revealing that he has gone back in time to another timeline which explains the reason behind the world serpent's mysterious appearance in the lake of nine many winters ago. Personality Jormungandr harbors a strong hatred towards the Asur gods, principally Thor and Odin, for massacring the giants to near extinction. He hates Thor the most, and vice versa, and both are destined to slay each other during Ragnarok. According to Mimir, the serpent absolutely abhors the statue of Thor as the latter called him the fat dauber and had just gotten sick of looking at the statue. This hatred extends to their allies as well, since he becomes enraged and nearly attacks Kratos, Atreus, and Mimir when the latter mistakenly tells him that they are friends of Odin in the giant's ancient tongue. Tyr was the only Asser that earned his respect as he helped to guard his temple and even responded to the horn in the temple's bridge. He also does not hate Mimir, likely as he is aware that the latter had tried his best to stop Odin from massacring the giants and Mimir understanding his dead tongue. Jormungandr feels extremely lonely, due to being both the last living giant in Midgard, following Fae's demise, and one of the very few beings who speak his language. However, the serpent does enjoy talking when he can, being described as a sparkling conversationalist by Mimir. Due to this, the serpent also sympathizes with those who have suffered the same loss, which made him more than willing to help Kratos and Atreus.